Hi everyone, this tutorial is designed to teach you how to create a post-production sermon only video from the full service stream video. The first thing we need to do is we need to open our editing program which is OpenShot. That's found here. This is the uh, OpenShot uh, video editor. I also have it on the desktop over here. So we click on either one of these and I'm going to click on this uh, icon here. Double clicking. That opens up the file. Now once the program is opened, we're going to save our project right away so that in case we get involved and forget to do it, we don't lose any work. So we go up to File here in this corner, in the left-hand corner, top, go down to Save Project As. That allows us to name the project. Okay, so now we're going to name this project. Come over here and we will name it um, Sermon Only. And then we'll just put the date, Sermon Only for 09-29-2023. Okay, and then we save that. Now, in the future, when we want to save again, we come back to file. We're not going to save as project because we're not going to change the name. We use this save project. So periodically, we come back up here and save project. So we um, keep saving our work as we go along so we don't lose it. Now what we need to do is we need to add some video clip clips, the clips that we're going to work on. And we're going to have three video clips that we need. We need the streaming um, video. Uh, we need also a beginning um, intro video and we need an ending video which are already pre-prepared. So to add videos clips to our project here into the project files we go up to this plus sign here this green one and we click on that and that allows us to import files. Now you will notice that there's another plus sign down here but this adds tracks to our timeline we're not adding tracks right now so we're gonna go up here and we add our video clips click on that and this opens up a, a dialog box for us so that we can browse through the computer files and find uh, the video clips that we're looking for I have them in videos so we go to videos open that up by clicking on it we come over here and we're looking for videos for sermon only. That's the file uh, folder that I have with the uh, um, appropriate video clips for this pro uh, this program. I'll click on that, open it up. We have three uh, video clips here. We have the September 29th stream video. We have the beginning credits and we have an ending clip for sermons. And so we're going to add all three of those to our project. Now normally you would just click on one and then press the open and it would go into the file. But we have three so we want to click on all three. So to do that we hold down the control button on your uh, keyboard which is over on the bottom at the left hand side of the keyboard and then we are going to click while holding that control um, key and some of the keyboards it just uh, that key, that particular key has a CTRL, uh, which is the control. And so we hold that while we click on the rest of the uh, video clips that we want. Once we have them all highlighted, and you see they're all highlighted, we come down here to open, press open, and they're all put into our uh, editing software. So now we have them up here. We're going to start um, with the uh, the uh, BABC uh, FPH, which is Family Bible Hour, September 29th. That's the uh, video from the stream, and so we're going to start with that. Now, what I do, I'm going to adjust this a little bit so I have some more room down at the bottom to work uh, with. But I'm going to bring um, that down to, and I'm going to uh, move the tracks around a little bit because I want the track three to be prominent because that's what we're going to be using. So I'm going to bring this down by clicking on it and dragging it down to track three. That's where I like to, to use the main video. Now once we have that, you notice that this is highlighted in red. That means that that's the particular video clip that we're working with right now. And uh, the properties over here are listed for this particular clip. If there were other clips, uh, they would not be highlighted like this uh, since uh, we're only um, working on this one at this time. Now. 
we have to find the spot where the sermon begins. We have this bar up here, which we can move. That moves the clip around so that we can view different portions of the clip. And uh, it also, we can slide this so when we get more specific, it it's, uh, narrows our um, viewing area so that we can uh, better uh, find something precisely or add uh, the cursor precisely. Now we have the cursor here. This is the cursor. When you move the cursor, uh, this red line here is exactly on the video clip uh, where you see up here. So what we're right here on the video clip, that's what we're seeing up here. We move the cursor more, uh, we see something a little different. Now the cursor can only move within this area of this bar. So you see, we get to the end of it, right? That's the end of our view viewing area. So we can move this bar down here. It gives us uh, more uh, viewing to the, the right. And then we can move our cursor further down. Since we want to um, first find out where the sermon begins, we're going to take a bigger chunk of the uh, video to look at because uh, we know that it's somewhere around here. But once we get close, then we'll narrow it down so we can look uh, more precisely. We move our cursor to here. We see, ah, he's still, um, this is part of the beginning. And we see Rich there. And we see Linwood there. Again, he's not the speaker. We're looking for uh, the speaker. All right, we move it down. They're still singing songs. So, ah, now we have our speaker. Okay, so we know that it's somewhere here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow our viewing area by moving this, compressing it, and compressing this side of it. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll, we're looking for the beginning one here. We see that it's, hope it's empty. So we know that it's going to be, the cursor has to move to the right to find out when he actually first takes the pulpit. And we move it a little bit. Oh, here we go, right here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, hit the play button on our viewer so that we can hear what he's saying. So when he gets about where he says hello, that's what we wanna, wanna start the video. Good morning. Okay, he says good morning. Okay, so we're going to move the um, cursor just a little bit back to the left so we don't cut him off in mid-sentence there. So we move it back here so we know that we got the hello part. Now, you see we unselected uh, our video clip because it's not highlighted. Now I got to click on it again. It is selected, okay? Now here we want to um, crop the video and we want to keep this portion over here to the right of the cursor and we want to drop this uh, portion or cut this portion over to the left of the cursor. So what we do is we now left um, click on uh, our video, left click there. I'm sorry, I said left click, I meant right click. We're gonna right click on our video there. And then what we do is we go up here, slide down to slice, and you see another uh, dialog box opens up over here, oh, sorry over here and we're going to slide it down to keep right side that's what we want to do keep the right side Unknown so color. we we keep the right side and um that'll cut off the left side for us you see there now we've done that so once we've done that now we want to move the whole video clip back to the beginning of the um of the track of the uh i'm sorry the timeline so we're going to go over to properties and if you'll see that um, this video is highlighted so these properties apply to this video clip and we go down here to position position that tells us where the beginning of that video clip is it's way up here but we want it to be zero so we're going to change that we click on this and then we're going to change that number to zero just click on zero there and then enter there. That moved the video clip all the way down to the beginning and you can see if I move this bar down to the beginning That's one way to do it. Another way is to use this button here Which jumps it back to the start and then we hit this button here Which makes sure that our viewing area is where the cursor is and that's what we have now. So We see that this is the beginning and again just to see that we got the right thing. I'm gonna press play Good morning. Okay, we have it 
All right, so we're we're sure about that. We have that good. Now we'll go to the next thing. We're gonna go back to the end of the clip, all the way to the end, and this brings us all the way to the beginning. This brings us all the way to the end. Click that, it moves the cursor all the way to the end, but in order to view where the cursor is, we come down here and we select this, click on that, and that brings us over to where the cursor is. Now we're going to move the cursor to the left until we find that portion where he says amen at the end of his prayer, okay? We ran out of space, so we're gonna take our bar. Let's just widen it, widen it a little bit so that we have more area to check. And then we'll bring it over, the cursor over here. We see he's still up there. We see he's still up there. We see he's, I don't know, <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna narrow uh, this bar so that we can get more precise uh, when we move the cursor. And we see, okay, some movement there. Let's see. All right, looks like here, this is when he's stepping off. So we know we're close to when he says amen. And we're here. I think this is the portion we want. I'm gonna click on the play button just to hear and see where we are. Oh Jesus, I will give you the blood, amen. Amen, okay, we put, that's it. That's where we're gonna end our video. Okay, so the cursor is here. That's where we're gonna leave it. Come down here, make sure this is highlighted. This video clip is highlighted, it's in red. And we're going to right click, brings up this um, dialog box. We're gonna slice, but this time we wanna keep the left side the video that's left of the cursor, we wanna keep. The video that's right of the cursor, we wanna lose that, we wanna cut that off. So we're gonna push keep left side of the video. Click on that. And then what we'll see is we'll bring this over to the end of this uh, cropped uh, video clip that we have. And then we're gonna move over here so that we're viewing areas by the cursor. And now we're gonna just bring the cursor back into the video clip a little bit, make sure that we have the right portion there for the ending. Click Again. play. Oh Jesus. I will give you the blood. Amen. Amen. Okay. So we have that right. And we notice that he said amen about here. We'll push our cursor back just a hair. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down the ending clip. That's the ending clip that we have. This ending clip. And we want to put it up on the um, top layer or uh, track number four above track three. Whatever uh, video is on the highest track is the video that actually gets shown. So we're going to make sure that we bring this down to um, here and we'll bring it here. We've got to make sure that this is, we don't want a space between this video and this video clip. So this video clip, the ending, has to be either directly in line at the end of this or a little bit overlapping so that it starts before the end of that. I have it uh, starting a little before the end of that because it's uh, easier. Uh, if you don't, then you're going to get a black uh, space in between. Like if I were to put it here, then I'm sorry. Ooh, wait. If I were to put it here, let's say, now what happens when you push play? He goes away, and now we had a black space, and it takes time before we don't want that. So what we want to do is have a little overlap here. Bring this here. Now watch what happens when we well, when he stops. Is that when we play this? I have not. Amen. Ending clip. So now we have the ending clip. Remember before I told you we go over here to file, and we save project. Every once in a while you want to do that to make sure you don't lose your work. Now we want to go to the beginning. So we're gonna uh, jump to the start. That brings this cursor. This cursor will jump all the way to the start. And it did, but now we want to see where is our cursor. So we go over here and this brings the view uh, of the cursor. Okay, now we know where the cursor is. Now here, we want to use the track below this. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in, this is track two. We're going to bring in our video for the beginning credits, right? And we'll bring this down here and we put this right at the beginning. Make sure that this is highlighted. <laughs> I moved it around, I didn't mean to do that. Right there at two. Now this is highlight, so we go down to position, we see it at zero, that's exactly where we want it to be. 
Now, there's a little issue here that we need to resolve because remember I said to you that whatever video is on the higher track is the one that's going to be seen. So you wouldn't see in our finished product, you wouldn't see the beginning credits. You would hear them, uh, but you wouldn't see them because you would see uh, this um, streaming uh, video clip up here because it's on a higher track. So what we can do to eliminate that is we go over, first we highlight it, okay? We highlight that and um, we're going to make this transparent so that we can see through it down to the beginning credits. So we go over here to the properties and that's the properties for the video clip that's on track three, the streaming video, and we go up here to alpha, right? We go to alpha, we make alpha zero. It was one, one means that you can see everything, it's fully opaque, but now we make it at zero, we press zero, enter, and you see it disappeared, okay? That's what we want. That way we'll see what's down here in the beginning credits. Now, on the beginning credits, we wanna put the cursor right at the end of where it says um, Family Bible Hour, okay? Because if we go further than that, since this is a clip that we use over and over again, it has a date, but that's not the date we wanna use. So we don't want that date showing up. So we move the cursor over to where ah, ah, there it goes family bible hour now you see how it's starting to fade uh, let me put it back and you'll see what i'm talking about see family bible hour Watch it fade up before it for, uh, before it completely fades out moving the cursor back just a little bit there that's where we want the cursor and there's a reason for that because at this point we want uh, our date, our new date to appear, and we're going to put it at the top over here on track four so that uh, our date will show and not the date that's actually on that um, that clip that's on uh, track two. So we go up here, now we're going to have to create a tile or a title for our date and also for the speaker. So we go up here, we click on title, and again, title, and then we come down here, scroll down to standard three line that's what we're going to be using the standard three line right here standard three line click on that and it shows up over here now we'll name this so file name we'll change it from file name we'll think we'll just make it date we'll call it date ah, let me change that we'll make it all caps everything all caps date now all these uh three lines one two three you see them up here we don't want that to appear in our video so we're going to erase them all Okay, we're going to just delete them, backspace, delete them, whatever you want to do. Now we're going to use line two right in the center to put our date. Okay, so we're going to put the date, and remember, we're talking about the date when the video was made, that Sunday, not whatever day we're working on it. So the Sunday was the 29th, that's the date we're going to do here, and we're going to spell out everything, so, except the, the numbers, okay? So that was September. Twenty ninth, comma, twenty twenty four. Okay, that's what we want. We don't like this color. No, that's uh, we we want that to be white. So we're going to change the text color. Clicked on text color. This pops up. We go down to one of the white boxes. Click on that. Put OK and it changes our text to white, that's what we want. Now we're gonna save, and this will save this um, title uh, to our project file in the video ed editor so we can use it later. Press save, and it's saved, and you notice it's right down here, date, okay? Now we need one more title, and uh, that other title is going to be um, for our uh, presenter, um, and I gotta make sure that I get his name correct. Uh, and sometimes I don't do that. So what I'm gonna do is I should have done this beforehand. That's all right, um, I'll do it now. And I'm gonna look it up so that I don't uh, misspell his name. We don't wanna do that. Um, so let's see. Uh, 
and I'm looking it. Uh, so just bear with me for a second uh, because uh, I'm looking at my phone just uh, to get the spelling on his name. But I'm looking in the wrong place, and I'm going to have to correct myself and look in the right place. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. And what we have here is... Like I said, I should have done this before, and that would have been Samir Soliman. Samir Soliman. So we're going to go back up here to title. Title again. Now we go down to, we're going to use that same uh, title, uh, Standard 3. So that's what we're looking for, Standard, Standard 3. Click on that. We see it over here. We're going to change this top line to name the file. We'll just call it name. Okay. We're going to erase all three lines. Uh, I forgot that one, so let me just go back here. I want to erase all three lines. And what I'm doing is highlighting them and then just using the backspace, but you can do it any way you want. You come up here, and we're going to, uh, all caps now, sermon by, and I'll use a colon, and we come down here, and we're going to put uh, Samir's name there, and that's S-A-M-I-R space Soliman. Okay. Yeah. All caps, right? So let me. All right. Now we have that. Now remember, we don't want that in uh, this color here. So we're gonna go down here, text color, change that to white. Hit OK. Save this. That'll save it to our project file. And if you look, let me slide this sl uh, slider down here. We see name. That's where it is right there. Okay. The first. Um, title we're going to use is this date title so we uh, click on that and drag it down to here click on this drag it down to here um, now you'll see it's highlighted so these are the um, properties of this particular uh, video clip now you see it says end that's the size of the clip it's 10 seconds we don't really want 10 seconds it's a little too long for us so we're going to change this by clicking here and then we're going to change that 10 to a 7 press enter and you see how it shortened the video clip there that's what we want to do and then we're going to take the name we go back up here click on name click and drag bring down name over here again to track 4 but it right up against uh, the date and we see now this is highlighted these are the properties the size is 10 we don't want that so we click here change the 10 to 7 and there we have it now we're going to do something else um, so that the uh, date um, grows it starts from nothing grows up and then gets bigger and then uh, once it's there it's going to fade out and then the next thing we want the name to not be there and then all of a sudden grow get bigger and then fade out so to do that we click on date first it's highlighted and we're going to be using uh, first of all, something called keyframes, and we're going to be using scale X and scale Y. That's the size of uh, the up and down and the size of the um, right and left of the video. So right now it's at scale X is 1 and scale Y is 1. That's the original size. We want to make it 0. So we're going to add a keyframe. Actually, I don't have to add a keyframe here. I'm just going to do it for the sake of showing you. Um, and then we add a keyframe here also. Uh, because I'm at the beginning of the clip, I really don't have to ha add a, a keyframe. I can just go uh, change the number to zero and change this number to zero as well. So the X is zero, the Y is zero. And what does that mean? That means nothing's there, okay? Now what we wanna do is move our cursor to about a quarter way into the video, about here. And now, I, all of a sudden, we want this to grow from zero to being, uh, uh, you know, uh, the proper size for viewing. And now we're going to add, we actually have to add this keyframe here, insert keyframe. And then we're also for scale Y, insert keyframe. Okay. And we want it to grow. So we're going to change it from 
um, zero to let's put it at one point uh, make it three one point three of uh, the original size and then we're gonna do one point three also here okay up oh, mess that up one point three one point three enter okay there now once we have that you see that the date is you can see it now right we're gonna move this cursor over to about here almost to the end uh, maybe leaving about a quarter left of the video we want it to start fading here but we want to make sure that it doesn't fade until it, it doesn't start fading until it gets um, to gets to this point and so we need to put a keyframe here to hold that so that we don't get any fading from the beginning until there we don't want that so we go up to our fader which is alpha we just slide this go up to alpha remember again this is highlighted so these are the property for this video clip we go to alpha and that controls the transparency it's on one we're going to add a keyframe insert keyframe leave it at one why because we don't want it to fade from the beginning to that cursor now after that cursor we get this before the video clip ends just right at the end make sure it's on the right video clip though that we're still on September okay and you can see it up here to make sure you know whatever's um, wherever the cursor is that's what we're seeing up here so we see that September 29th is still there so we're in good shape now we're gonna add a keyframe here and we're gonna make it zero go from one to zero that eliminates it so what happened is we'll bring our cursor back over here and I'm going to show you what happens I'm going to go up here and save this again save project and now we're, I'm going to show you what happens with that video clip that we just did so we press Jesus for Muslim Jesus for you know what it is too is since this is still highlighted we see uh, that framing uh, the blue framing which won't be part of the video I'm gonna just click off of that so not, no, none of the video clips are highlighted now and then I'll hit play again and this is how it will appear in the video Jesus for Muslim Jesus for Muslim I'm seeing how the world is working it comes up all right now we want to do the same thing with this this clip here but rather than go through the process of putting the uh, different properties and doing all that we're just going to take this video clip highlight it and then we're going to right click on it and this pops up we right click on it we want to copy what do we want to copy we want to copy the keyframes and then this have which keyframes all the keyframes okay so all the keyframes click on that and we've copied them now we're going to highlight this video clip and we're going to right click on it and what do we want to do we want to paste paste now what we did was we just took all the keyframes from this video and we copied them onto this video now watch what happens again I'm gonna remove that framing by just clicking off into open space so there's nothing there now watch what happens Jesus for Muslim Jesus for Muslim how the world is working Sir, in the lives of Muslims. And then it begins to fade. Muslims okay, speak so always. There is you notice what? We have a black screen. Why do we have a black screen? Because we made this transparent. Remember with the alpha uh, property? This is all transparent. We want to change that. And where do we want to change it? We want to change it before this video here ends. So that once it ends, we'll see something down here. And this just about at the, you know, not just about where this starts to end, right here. And, and you have some flexibility there, but this is a good spot. Right here, we're going to add a keyframe with the alpha for our track three uh, streaming video clip. And we add a keyframe here, leaving it at zero. Why do we leave it at zero? Because we don't want it to start. Um, becoming less transparent uh, to the from the, a point 
um, to the left of the cursor. No, we don't want it. We want it to stay the same all the way through till it gets to this point with the cursor. Now, once it gets to the point with the cursor, we move the cursor over a little bit to the right, but again, still touching this video. We don't want much more. We want to still be part of this uh, video clip that's on the top, even though it's faded out. We want it to be there. And um, I'm going to move it just a uh, hair. I'll use my arrows to get to that point there. That's good. See where you can just barely see uh, the name Sermon by. Um, now we're, we're working on this video clip that's on track three. We go back up to alpha and we're going to put another video clip. Um, keyframe here, insert a keyframe, and this time we're going to change it from 0 to 1 and enter. Okay, and now we can see what's on the bottom. Okay, and that will go for the rest of the video clip. All this will be visible. Now, we'll come back over here to see what we've done, and we look at our beginning and we'll see. Uh, and quick. Jesus for Muslim, Jesus. Muslim. I've seen how the world is working in the lives of Muslims. Muslims speak always, there is no love in the There, and now we have our video. And that's basically it. We've, we've basically finished it. Um, we have the beginning, we have the ending, we have our, ti uh, our title, um, uh, in there, the dates and the name, and that's all we really want to do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back up here, file, save project, again. Then we want to do something else. What do we want to do? We want to um, render this video or export it. So we go to file, come down to export, and move over here to this new dialog box and go export video that's what we want to do export video click on that new dialog box comes up now this allows us to change um, the format of the video but we're gonna leave that just there 720p is enough 30 frames per second we could change that but we're not going to it takes longer if you go to uh, 1080p but we're not gonna do that here and all we're gonna do is you notice it says sermon only uh, that's the title that we gave it and we're just going to go export video and it begins to export our video now it tells us it's going to take 59 57 minutes to do this so that's going to be a while so we uh, allow that to continue and then at the end we'll see this bar over here it starts off blue and it'll get you know go progressively across here like this. When it gets to the end, it'll turn to a green, which tells us our video is ready. Then we go uh, find our video and we'll see that it's already done. So we're gonna stop the video here and then we'll come back when this is finished. Okay, now that we see the green status bar, 100% complete, we know that our video is done. It's just click on the done now, okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find our video we go down to a file Explorer and find out where it is and you have to find out on a particular computer you are working on where that was saved to and we find it here sermon only 9 29 24 so that's our video click on that bring it up and we just want to check a few spots to make sure it came out right and we see, okay, the beginning, it's fine. Oh, let me just turn this down a little bit. We don't need that down. All right, so that looks good. Brighton Avenue looks so good. Looks good, Family Bible Hour. And now we have our date coming up. And then we have also, you can hear in the background, if you can hear, it's kind of like he's talking already. Okay, now we, we check that seems good. All right, this looks good. Just checking a few spots to make sure that the video is good before we put it up on YouTube, which will be another video. Now, the end.
Okay, that looks good. So it looks like the video is good and, and we're done. We're basically going to post this to YouTube. Uh, but like I said, that's another video.